St Johnston can do something amazing on Thursday potentially if they knock out Galatasaray in the Europa League qualifiers. It's a huge game for the club coming up on Thursday and if they do go through and knock out Galatasaray, it'll be a historic result. The first leg finished 1-1 last week and the St Johnston players last week were amazing. It was a great performance by the team and it was just an overall great team performance. They played really well, they worked really hard and they gave it their all. Some standout players in that game were Xander Clark, I thought. I thought Xander Clark was amazing, he made some great saves and at some points he kept St Johnson in the tie. And also I thought Ali McCann, that was a great performance by Ali McCann in Turkey last week against Kalatasaray. It was a man of the match performance and I know... I'm sorry, and now they can bring this result to Perth as Galatasaray are going to come to them in the second leg. And I think it's big that the second leg is taking place in Perth, Galatasaray are coming to them, and that St Johnson are going to have fans back, and it's going to be a full capacity crowd. So they can act as a 12th man for St Johnson on that park, and really motivate them to do well in the game. St Johnson don't have an easy task on their hands as well. They've got Galatasaray, Turkish Giants... And after that poor performance in Turkey last week, I'd be expecting a response from Galatasaray. They're going to be really aggressive, really offensive in this game coming up. And I think there's going to be a lot of intense moments in this game for St Johnston. In St Johnston's last game against Motherwell, where they drew 1-1, they played quite well in that game, but Motherwell created quite a few chances. And if it wasn't for Xander Clark and Motherwell just mucking it up, they might have lost that game and if that's Galatasaray in those positions, getting those sorts of chances, the tie will already be over because they have top quality players. They've got some good players like Patrick Van Aanholt, who's very Premier League experienced, obviously playing for Crystal Palace. They've got likes of Babel, they've also got Radamel Falcao, who I've seen was on the bench last week in that first leg. And before the moves to Man United and to Chelsea, before them moves, where it kind of went downhill, before them, he was considered one of the best strikers in the world, and they had him on the bench last week. Even though these players are not like, say, Messi level or Ronaldo level, there's still some good top quality players, and if you give them time in the box or with the ball, they can make something happen. Even though this is a huge game in St Johnson's history, there's a lot of pressure on Galatasaray. They're a huge club, and they should really be knocking out a team like St Johnston. And there's no pressure on St Johnson, and I know that they're going to give their all, put 100% into this game, and I actually believe they're going to do it. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to St Johnston. They're going to win 3-2 on aggregate. I hope they do. It's going to be a great night if they do go through. And yeah, I wish them the best of luck. Good luck, St Johnston. I hope St Johnston do it. I wish them all the best. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Put in the comments what you think the score will be. Do you think St Johnston will do it? I really hope they do. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more Scottish football content. It's going to be daily. And yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Cheers.